Welcome to World War II Chronicles, a weekly tribute to America's fighting men and women in commemoration of the Second World War. These programs are narrated by Ed Herlihy and are based on the news broadcasts of the war period from the recorded sound collection of the National Archives in Washington, D.C. During 1942, the U.S. was trying to make synthetic rubber to replace America's normal supply, which had been cut off by the Japanese. In order to conserve rubber, the Office of Price Administration had instituted gas rationing, or mileage rationing as it was officially called, in 17 eastern states on May 14th. By November, even more restrictions were necessary. And here's a notice to car owners in 16 eastern states. Beginning November 22nd, each gasoline coupon in the basin, basic ration book A will be worth only three gallons instead of four. The state of West Virginia, however, is accepted. The present supply of gasoline in the city is very low. I therefore want to appeal as strongly as I can put it that owners of cars must not rush to gas stations to fill their tanks even though they may have coupons. Car owners were issued ration stamps which they posted on their windshields. A stamps for cars whose trips were non-essential, B for cars that were needed for work, and C for cars of essential drivers such as doctors. November 22nd was to be the date that mileage rationing was begun throughout the United States. In the meantime, Midwestern congressmen are putting on the pressure to postpone nationwide gas rationing. Nationwide gas rationing has been postponed from November 22nd to December 1st. A government survey indicates that there is organized opposition telling you that what they call nationwide gasoline rationing, and you and I call mileage rationing, is unnecessary. One of the members of that opposition was a very important citizen named Fever McGee. I tell you, it ain't fair, Molly. They can't do this to me. Four gallons a week. The whole thing is silly. It's going to make everybody stay at home. Why, in two years, a guy from Indiana won't know what a guy from Kansas is talking about. Where are you from? Illinois. <laughs> that has happened already. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm Ed Hurley. Join me next time for World War II Chronicles. World War II Chronicles was produced by the American Veterans Center and Radio America in cooperation with the National Archives. To listen to more episodes, subscribe on iTunes or visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org. We need your help to keep the legacy of our World War II generation alive. Visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org to make a donation to support World War II Chronicles and the ongoing work of the American Veterans Center.